this video, I want to show you how to remove a thick curly top knot um, from your golden setter. Now, this is not a golden setter. She's a working cock spaniel, but um, it's pretty much exactly the same thing that um, grows on top of their heads. Um, I don't have a golden with this kind of top knot, so that's why I wanted to show you um, on, her, on Willow here. Um, now, um, she gets her spaniel ears clipped. Um, she's not been bathed yet. Uh, I usually remove the bulk before the bath. On show dogs, the best is to just hand strip everything out. Uh, it's going to take a while to get rid of this wild bush. Um, you see she's got quite a fair bit there on her head. Um, but on show dogs, the best is to just slowly pluck it away bit by bit until you get rid of it. The reason why you want to do it by pulling the hair and not cutting is to um, start encouraging the hair to grow um, a little bit better and stop growing this thick top knot. Her head's been clipped and it's been scissored as well. Um, and if you do that, if the hair is cut and not pulled, um, it will grow thicker and stronger and wilder. So you, create, you can do it, you can cut it uh, with thinning scissors um, or um, um, other types of tools, which I'll show you. But if you uh, want to have less work on a head, it best is to just, just pluck it. Uh, now, even on show dogs, one thing that does help is to use a coat king. Um, I've got two here, 16 and a 20 blade one, um, but the 16 one is sharper uh, because it's new. So the sharper the coat king, the more it cuts rather than pulls. But on the head, it doesn't matter if the hair gets cut a little bit um, it's not as bad as clipping it um, because the hair needs to be as short as her cheeks or her muzzle so um, it's okay there to um, if, it, if it gets cut a slightly bit now you see if I just go with the hair growth almost nothing is being pulled so coat king on the head works better if you go in every direction um, and especially opposite the hair grove. Um, now this doesn't hurt um, because we're just raking out the dead coat and it, it does come out easy. Um, so you see I'm removing suddenly a lot. And you can go sideways across the head and backwards. Um, and we just take the bulk out this way it's a little bit awkward with me because she's in a tub and not on a table but we can we can do this so i'll take the longest bits out and the thickest debulking it with the coat king so you see she's got a lot less there now um now i'll take a extra fine stripping knife and i'm gonna rake some out not huge amount is coming this way. Um, another way is what you can do is um, brush the hair up and I can grip it with my thumb. So not just the rake, but I can grip it with the thumb against the blade and pull. See, and I'm getting a lot more out this way. So that's another way that you can do the head. And I sometimes use a combination of tools and um, see what works the best. Good girl. This is why it's important to teach your young dogs um, handling um, so that they learn that you're gonna hold their muzzle, that you're gonna till their heads, and they need to get used to this sort of handling um, dog that's not used to it, it's going to toss its head around and it's going to protest if you want to hold its face. Um, but they should be okay with this. Good girl. Good girl.
So you see we're taking a fair bit out of there. Now her head's looking a lot better. There's a lot less going on there, but still a few little bits. So that was uh, another way. So there's a fair amount. Uh, right, um, another way you can use thinning scissors. That's another way that you can take. So you'll brush up what sticks out on your head. And then with your thinners, you can just chop away not too close to the skull. So you can do that. That's another quick way. This is okay for the pets, um, but ideally I wouldn't do this on a show dog because like I said, with scissoring, it's just gonna encourage it, the hair to grow thicker um, and wilder. So then I've got a lot of work, whether if she was just hand stripped, eventually um, it would be, it stopped growing this wild. So you see, this uh, scissors did a pretty decent job. Um, there's a lot less on her skull there. And just to, as a final touch, um, I mean, this is gonna be, this is at the back of her neck. So we need to go back there a little bit more. Um, so just that the, where her skull falls off to her neck, right there. Um, we want to take that out. I'm using the extra fine just to break some out, but she will have a body and neck clipped. Um, she's going to get a clip all over really short, so I don't need to um, do too much work here on her because that will be clipped and blended into an unclipped head, which you could do very nice. So we just want to take some of these out. I'll use a coat king again to debulk. This one's no good. I need to take this strap, strap off down there. Right, you the good girl. So you see she's got a fair amount there on the neck. Just at the back of the skull. I'm not running it through the whole neck. Just a little bit of that thickness. Good girl. Good girl, I know you enjoying this, aren't you? Good girl. I'm holding the muzzle down to stretch the skin. You can't see because her ears in the way a little bit and I'm sorry about the light there. Um, but we can just rake some out this way. And over where the ear joins the skull, you can run the coat king a little bit through there as well. Because that's going to mean we've got less. to scissor in and blend. Good girl. I know, good girl. So we took some of that out. Now I'm not gonna scissor the back of the neck. Again, just a more rake with the extra fine knife. And you can use the extra fine knife over the cheeks as well if they got fuzzies uh, growing and on the bottom of their jaws. She doesn't have any, but you can just rake out the cheek. She's got a little bit there on the cheek, you see. So I'll just pull it out and they come out really easy. Just a few little tiny fuzzies there on her cheeks. She used to have a lot more but because I always hand strip with fingers and never cut her cheeks, you see they stopped growing. So she's got a really neat, nice face and not too hairy and same on the other cheek. So just a few little fuzzies and you can see them sticking out. And again, you have to stretch the skin nicely. And this is why your dog needs to be used to being handled and having the skin stretched and head turned, whichever way you need to work on them. And when they're used to it, they don't mind. They don't mind one bit because it's not painful, is it? We also cook out. Okay, and the last tool, that's a really handy, quick way of um, doing the head and cheeks and 
sometimes if they get grow a little beard under the jaw there you can use a, um, a texturizing razor um, that's what this is this one is coming sorry from Canada um, I absolutely love their stuff now this is basically a barber or hairdressing version of a cutthroat razor for shaving you know the one that opens up and the very posh shave so the, the, there's a actual razor blade in there uh, but it has got it's encased with these um, in the case like with the teeth so you cannot cut the dog skin they're very safe to use and you use it like a rake uh, but this got a razor sharp blade in there so it will cut but it will it's called a texturizing razor because it blends really nicely uh, rather than just like taking a normal scissor and make, leave a big chop mark um, this is more like a thinning scissor um, in there so it has an effect of a thinning scissor and the last bit that I'm going to do is I'm going to brush up whatever's left there on her head very little you can just see there's just lit a few fuzzies see not very much and uh, we always have to go with the hair growth with the razor and you need to put it on the 45 degree angle uh, not dead on straight because you just end up scraping the hair and you will hear a little scraping noise I will stop talking in a minute uh, which that is your hair being cut because this cuts the hair it doesn't pull it it cuts it um, so you see we're just going to rake across sometimes you can have little marks left um, and you see there's a uh, it's uh, removing those last few bits and we'll just gently raise her out the rest and here where the ears are joining the skull and let's see if you can hear some of that scrape See, and we've cut that in. Mm, there we go, good girl. Mm, there's your wheels. Look at the pretty face you've got now. And then you can uh, also come into this ear rosette here. The bulk will be scissored off. On her, it will be clipped. And you can then run it across the cheeks with the hair growth. She doesn't have much there, so it's not cutting anything major. And into the neckline, and you can run it across. And if you want to scissor, um, right, there's just a little bit more there over here, there, because we want to drop her reset a little bit. She will get a clipped here, clipped spaniel, like the show cocker spaniels get. Um, and now look at her beautiful head. It's smooth, there's no marks from scissors, and there's nothing sticking out in there. And she's got a very clean, nice skull. And this was me working very slowly, but literally it just takes minutes to clear a head, um, to clear a head on them and the cheeks. Now, if you decide to not clip a neck, <clears throat> we will uh, do that in the next video. So thank you for watching. And the tools I've used were Kamisori Texturizing Razor, but you can buy them in any beauty supply stores or whoever sells the barber and hairdressing scissors and you can also buy spare blades because when this blade will dull i will have to replace it and i've got the spares for it and they just slide in and out and then i've got an extra fine stripping knife um, make sure you buy right-handed if you're right-handed and a left-handed when you're left-handed because they have different teeth on either side well, the, the, the blade looks different on either side. So a right-handed tool cannot be used the wrong way round if you're left-handed. And then you also need a Code King 
fine one, extra fine one. Um, new one's quite sharp to remove the bulk. So, um, and that's her pretty head with no bird's nest. And it was done super quick. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, and we will be back for the next video, how to do a scissor neck.